Welcome to another video on UCS X series and Intersight management. Users familiar with UCS understand how easy it is to scale fast, high performing servers using server profile templates and the associated pools, policies, and the derived profiles. When getting started, it can be a little bit daunting when you encounter the sheer number of policies available in UCS. But this video will make it clear that it's not necessary to configure all of these policies. In fact, we can configure a high performing server with just a few simple policies. We're going to demonstrate using just six top level policies, including four sub policies and two pools. And out of these 10 total policies, four of them will be using only default parameters. We'll start by creating three management policies that are going to give us virtual KVM access to the server console. First, we have the IMC access policy. This policy configures the IP address for the management processor so we can connect to the KVM. The IP address is allocated from an IP pool attached to the IMC access policy. Next, we have a local user policy, which creates the credentials that will be used to access the virtual KVM console. And finally, we attach a KVM policy, which enables the KVM functionality on the server. Now, with those three policies and the IP pool attached to a server profile, we have access to the server's virtual console. Returning to our policy list, we see our next set of policies are related to storage. First, we'll define a storage policy which configures the media where we're going to install the operating system. And then we'll configure a boot order policy which points to that media where we put the operating system. In the example, you can see I'm using the tooltip to find the name for the M.2 RAID controller, making it easier to select that device. One last trip to our policy list, we can see we have a one remaining policy, the LAN connectivity policy, which defines the networking for our server. This consists of four sub policies, three of which have complete default settings and a MAC pool from which we will allocate MAC addresses for our interfaces. We start by creating our first VNIC for the server's network, and this begins the process of creating all of the sub policies. The first thing we'll add is a MAC pool, which provides a pool of, of MAC addresses that will be allocated to these VNICs and to any other VNICs that we create for other server profiles. Following this, we'll create a network group policy, which identifies the VLANs that will be used for this server to pass different classes of traffic. Next comes our control policy, which we can accept the defaults unless we want to make specific changes. Following that is our quality of service policy, which again, we can accept the defaults without making any specific changes. And finally becomes our adapter policy, which defines some very specific tuning parameters for the network, uh, which can in fact be fairly complicated. And for this reason, Intersight provides a set of defaults on a per operating system basis from which to choose to make getting the maximum performance from that specific operating system as easy as possible. Now that those policies have all been completed, we're ready to bring up our server and install an operating system. This video has demonstrated how easy it is to get high performing server with Cisco, UCS, and Intersight with very little manual tuning required during the setup process.